And inside, the historic climate change deal struck in Paris was a major step in addressing global warming. Scientists hope it's not too late for coral reefs. They are home to a quarter of the world's marine life and facing the growing threat of coral bleaching. Corals contain algae, which serve as their main food source and give them their vibrant color. But when coral faces stress, like warming water temperatures, the algae are expelled. The coral loses color and, more importantly, becomes more vulnerable to disease or death. And that has serious consequences for humans as well. But for about 500 million people across the planet, it will be the loss of food, livelihoods, economic opportunity. And that will only create greater problems for those countries, not less. This year, coral reefs suffered from a serious underwater heat wave. That's the third time on record. Now, coral bleaching has so far spared Australia's Greater Barrier Reef, but scientists believe it's coming. CCTV's Greg Navarro has insight into why the reef is at risk and how it might avoid it. Australia's 2,300 kilometer long Great Barrier Reef is vibrant and colorful. It's also under stress. Well, it's going downhill really quickly now in the short term. Stress for the world's largest living thing can be a killer. Scientists say the reef has lost about half of its coral coverage in the last 30 years, and they fear it's about to get worse. We're quite concerned that we could get a severe bleaching event here on the Great Barrier Reef early next year. A massive coral bleaching event is already taking place in Hawaii. Scientists say an El Nino weather event is expected to warm waters in Indian and Pacific Oceans, leading to more coral bleaching. By next March, if this weather holds and if it continues to move towards Australia, we'll see severe bleaching on the Great Barrier Reef. Let's hope it doesn't happen. James Cook University professor Terry Hughes says Coral bleaching is a relatively new phenomenon which has been documented here twice since the 1990s. So we're moving now from studying these as single events to studying them instead as sequences of events. And of course, a critical question is, what will a coral reef look like in, say, 2050 after it has experienced eight or ten of these bleaching events? Because, Hughes says, scientists expect to see more and more coral bleaching as the result of a warming planet. Scientists say there is a small chance the Great Barrier Reef will avoid being a part of this bleaching event if a cyclone were to hit in this area sometime early next year, which would effectively cool the waters and take the stress off the reef. They say the likelihood of that happening is slim, and they're preparing for the worst, having already formed a national task force to study the bleaching event. Greg Navarro, CCTV, the Great Barrier Reef.